Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So somehow I missed Butterick's winter collection pattern review. I don't know how that happened. I'm not even entirely sure when this collection came out, um, but I missed it and I wanted to look at the patterns anyways. So I said, let's all do it together. What do you say? Um, okay, so we are going to jump right in here. I can't really tell how many there are. Um, so we'll just get going. Okay, first up we have this uh, little dress. It looks like princess seams that are that turn into darts at the waistline, which I actually really love. I gotta say though, I don't love it in this fabric. I'm sure you guys feel the same way. It's just a little, I don't know, like the skirt is okay, but this fitted bodice I'm not loving. Um, they say cotton blends, agree. Crepe, a thousand percent. Sateen, totally. Jacquard and taffeta, I think it depends. Um, if it gets too crispy, then, you know, I don't know. It just, just doesn't do it's not very flattering up here, but the style lines I absolutely adore. So you have this really cute um, cap sleeve, love that, or sleeveless with a contrasting band or three quarter sleeves. And yeah, those are our options. Love the back, but you can see, I don't know, it just, I don't know, it doesn't lay right or something but it is really cute design. This is totally my style with the fit and flare. Um, I know you guys are thinking, oh yeah, I can totally see her wearing this. So yeah, this will probably end up in my stash. I love it. And I love, I mean, it does take a lot of fabric. What's the yardage? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Not so bad for the, depending on the sleeve, anywhere from two to three yards. Actually, that's a lot less than I thought it was going to be because all of these are cut on one long panel. Um, so you don't have the luxury of a waist seam where you can, you know, cut the bodice separately from the skirt. But um, I do feel like this is very flattering and, and you know, because it has so many seam lines, uh, you can get it to fit really well. Even if you're full busted or small busted, um, if you are pear shaped, you, whatever shape you are, you can really get a good fit with all those different seam lines. So love that one. Next we have a Gertie. Now I admit I'm not, don't get mad at me, but I'm not the biggest fan of Gertie patterns. I don't typically love retro or vintage styles. So don't hate me if I don't love this one. Um, but it looks like we have got a one shoulder sparkly spaghetti strap, sweetheart neckline, pencil skirt number going on here. Um, there it is in not fringe fabric with two straps. The neckline is really beautiful. Skirt doesn't favor me that well. Um, pencil skirts I don't know, just, I don't find them very comfortable, even if, you know, they do fit right. Um, and so there's a little vent in the back. The fringe is cute. Like if I needed to wear a fringe dress somewhere, I, they did sew it up really well. I'll give them that, but not a hundred percent my style. The bodice is beautiful though. I love that. I don't love the one shoulder. Oh, it's made for fringe. Interesting. So I guess they would give you some tips on how to sew with fringe. So that's kind of cool. Like if you, you know, needed to wear fringe somewhere, um, whether it's like a costume party or you're just like really into fringe. Um, that is, that's interesting. I do appreciate that. Um, some things I do love about the, um, pattern are the neckline is beautiful. I love the really long bust darts, the two front darts, I usually need four back darts. The vent is nice, but you know, I personally, I wouldn't um, add this one to my stash because I know that I'm just not a fan of wearing pencil skirts, kind of regardless of what they look like on me. I just, I'm not comfortable in them. Okay, next up we've got a, looks like a flared sleeve 
Empire waist or Empire waist, sorry, um, dress. I'm kind of over this now. Are we over this? What are we feeling about these dramatic sleeves? The V-neck is pretty. The Empire waist is pretty. The band is pretty. The little bust darts are pretty. The flare on the skirt is pretty. Basically, if I just chop off the sleeves, I really love it. Um, I love Empire waist, actually. Um, I think they're really cute and very flattering on lots of figures, especially if you have a belly. This little shorter sleeve's cute. This one, I don't know. Could also be the fabric application of it. The really shiny polyester <laughs> fabric. Not a fan. Something's going on there, which is interesting. Or is that a leaf? That might be a leaf. It's got to be a leaf, right? <laughs> yeah, so this gets like, you know, it gets a... C plus probably. I do like this version A. I could see myself wearing that. Um, what kind of fabrics are they recommending? Shally, crepe, double Georgette, stable knits, peach skin. I don't know about peach skin, but these other ones, yeah, I agree. I agree. And if you didn't sew the sleeves, if you made it sleeveless, you could add things like cotton sateen um, and some more of the uh, more stable wovens to the list. You wouldn't want to do cotton sateen on that sleeve though. It would look like a wing, like legitimately, like you're going to take flight. Okay, so here's another one with this dramatic bell sleeve. I can't really see the style lines on this busy print. Oh, here we go. So it is a princess seam dress, no waist seams at all. Um, and it looks like a fitted skirt, a dramatic sleeve options, one with a little bell thing and the other one with a slit. Here's another version. Again, these dresses are just not my style, but if we look at the line art, whoa, back darts, yay! I feel like I could jump up and down. That is awesome, I love that. Um, Finally, finally, people are catching on that we need some fitting going on in the back of these, you know, straight sheath dresses. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you've got some different uh, sleeve options going on here. This one has a band. Um, yeah, this dress would look really great on a lot of different body types. It's not really what it looks like on me. I just am not comfortable in tight skirts. I don't know why. In my older age though, I've just been like, it feels too fussy or something. Here's a really cute, it looks like a knit uh, dress with, yeah, this is adorable with this little like sash tie wraparound thing. That's cute. Here it is in a solid with more of a tie and less of a skirt panel. Uh, are those raglan sleeves? Sleeve variations, it says. We'll look at those in a second. Oh, here's a twist knot one. That's cool. That's so fun. No princess seams. But it is a knit, so I imagine they uh, drafted the um, fitting into the back seam and the side seams, which you can get away with more on a knit than you can a woven. So the options I think are really cute and I love that it's knit. Um, I have been wanting to make some like long sleeve sweater knit type dresses that are more seasonal for the Charlotte area than they would be in Charleston. Um, and this looks like a really good option. I might be adding this one to my list as well. Here are, so the sleeves are regular sleeves. I don't know, it just looks funny in that drawing. Um, but you've got the twist front, you've got this sash, which honestly is my least favorite. Um, and then, like I feel like that would just draw a lot of attention. And it's not even at your real waist, it's more at your like low waist, high hip, I don't know. 
But I think this option is really cute. I love how they did it out of a stripe. That was really smart. Really smart. Super cute. Love that one. 6621. I got to remember that. Okay. Now we've got something that looks fun and interesting. Jacket, top, skirt, pants, and sash. You guys know I love these like wardrobe patterns where they have multiple patterns in one envelope. Um, this one, it looks like they, you know, tried to use like a really fun print, which I'm going to try and ignore <laughs> so that I can give you honest impression of it. Um, so far though, like the, the, um, what's it called? Like the balance of this between like the larger jacket and the pencil skirt is really nice. I think that's very modern looking. Um, here it is with the, I guess the jacket and the pants. Oh, now we're going off the rails. We've got, I guess this is the top and the skirt. Is that a knit though? Or like lightweight fabric? That is cute. I'm down for this. Those drawings, I don't know. I love this. I love that a lot. Um, yeah, that's really cool to me. I don't know what is going on with this though. Let's look at some line art. So this must be the jacket front and back with the sash, contrasting fabric, but obviously you don't have to do that if you don't want. Oh yeah, which is this option here. And then you've got your top with a contrasting yoke thing. I don't even understand that. And here's the skirt with like a little asymmetrical doodad going on and pants that I could probably never get to fit, but they have side seam pockets um and single darts in the front and back same with the skirt single darts front and back a little vent in the skirt i don't know about these three and i usually don't buy the wardrobe pattern if i only like one of the options in it um i do have another jacket similar to this i can't remember what it is but um gosh i'm trying to think of like i don't like that top though i'm not i'm not getting the top at all especially if you're supposed to make it into like a little capsule wardrobe like matching the yoke to the skirt i don't know maybe it would be different if you did it out of contrasting fabrics like three different fabrics i guess cotton blends broadcloth crepe linen chalet hmm. yeah i think i just don't really love this little scoopy part of the top i'm not a really a big fan of pencil skirts for my body or you know cigarette pants why is it a pencil skirt in the cigarette pants Shouldn't it be like a cigarette skirt or a pencil pant? I'm calling them pencil pants from now on, <laughs> those like slim leg pants. Um, but I'm bummed because I do like the jacket a lot. The jacket is really cool. I don't know. Next is a top skirt and pants, kind of like a looser fitting silhouette here. Um, we've got an asymmetrical something or another going on here and some wide leg pants. I'm imagining their drawstring. Here's another version of the top. It's got these angular darts, which I really like. Bell sleeves, which, meh, okay. Oh, these sleeves, bishop sleeves, I think, I am totally down for right now. Love those. Love this skirt. Yeah, there are parts of this that are very redeeming. I'm sure you could even combine this bodice with that skirt and have a super cute dress. Not feeling the pants. Let's see what's going on with everything. So side zip top with these lovely, I have to say, pleat details. That's such an interesting top. I really like that. I feel like you could make that and it would look so expensive. Here's a more basic silhouette. Here it is with the little bishop sleeves. I think these have elastic in the cuffs. Here's that skirt that I love. Look how pretty. It's just a few pleats and it just drapes down, cut on the bias, beautiful. And then here's the pants. The pants actually have a side zip. No dart in the front and one dart in the back um, and no waistband. So I'm surprised. Still don't like the pants, but the rest of this I love. Like I said, I feel like you could attach this skirt to this bodice and you'd have a super cute dress, you know? 
I like that one. All right, next up, 6622. Dress and jumpsuit. Is that a knit jumpsuit? Please say no. Oh my God, it's a knit jumpsuit. Oh my God. Okay, speaking of like <laughs> wearable pajamas, here you have pajama onesies <laughs> that you can wear out in public. I got it. It doesn't look that bad on her. Like they did pick a knit that isn't as close to pajamas as it could be. You have to be very careful with the knit that you pick on this one. Otherwise, yeah, you look like you're wearing a onesie in public. But... We're going to make the most of this with a dress <laughs> that is midi length. I do love this little subtle bell. That's nice. I'm imagining this has no seaming going on. Here's another version. I, I do like these little sleeves too. I'm just not into like the way dramatic ones. These sleeves are really cute, especially in a knit. I hope that this is a circle skirt. That would be really nice if this had a waist seam. Okay, this is cool. I'm actually down for this. Um, again, fabric choice is paramount. I mean, one of the most critical fabrics you were ever going to match with a pattern. Um, but I love the wide leg with the um, cropped link and the, and the boot. That's so chic, so cool. Oh Lord, and there's a cutout. Okay, so, and we've got a cutout and this like little wrappy thing with some buttons. Oh, I don't know. That's like, a. this just feels like it got really overworked to me. Yeah. Okay, let's go to, so moderate stretch, interlock, jersey, ponte, velour, no, and sweater knits. Again, just think as modern and as, I don't know, just not novelty in any way um, with this and this. Yeah. Um, so I think some sweater knits, like velour, I don't get that. Ponte, like a lightweight ponte, mm, more so in the dress than the jumpsuit. And then the interlock and the jersey, I don't know, you just have to be really careful because you know how that's going to look going across your bum, you know, because they can get a little on the thin side. So yeah, just be mindful of your fabric choice. But I do love this version a lot. And if I come across a fabric that I think will work, I'll let you guys know because I will have this in my mind. This really jumps out. Let's look at the, okay, so yeah, we do have a waist seam on all of them, which is great. A nice circle skirt on a knit dress is one of my absolute favorite things. There's nothing more comfortable. There's no elastic in here usually, right? Um, elastic back waist. So only elastic here. This, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. They all have that. There's not a normal back bodice. Oh, I mean... I think it just depends on like the notions that you pick. Like this gigantic black button, I don't know about that. And if it's knit, like do you really need to close it with a button? Can't you just tack that down and pull it on, you know? Although maybe you couldn't pull it on over your, I don't know, with the I don't know about it with the pants. With the dress, you should be able to just pull it right on. Or swap out any back bodice that you have in your stash and you should be fine. You just got to check the arms so the sleeves fit. Okay, where are we? Oh, look at this representation. Feeling that. Top tunic skirt and scarf. Okay. I don't love this color blocking, like, at all. No. This is just way too matronly for my taste. No. 
here's the line art <laughs> so you guys can see. I mean, maybe the line art on this is sort of redeeming. And, well, actually the line art on all of them isn't too bad. I just, I don't love this, the contrasting yokes and this like really, well, the skirt's not actually that bad either. What is it then? Is it the fabrics? Is it like the length? It must be the length and it must be the contrastingness of them and the matchy matchy. I don't love like tunic and a skirt either. Like, no, that's not happening. Um, and this is that like mermaid type skirt, but it doesn't look as good on as it does in the drawing. So yeah, I think it's a hard pass on this one. Hmm. But A plus for the inclusion. Okay, another one of my absolute favorite, I mean, I think all my favorite Butterick patterns are Lisette. And again, it is the fit and flare with the circle skirt. Knit, love it. Um, you've got princess seams here, long sleeves, and a circle skirt. This is like a jersey application, so it's much more drapey. But if you had a more stable knit, this would flare out a little bit more, kind of like this. But look how cool these princess seams go up into the shoulder versus into the side or into the arm, which is cool. Um, nice big, oh God, there's a bow. Love a bow. There's a nice big neckband and a bow, which is so exciting. You guys know I love a bow. You may be able to take the girl out of Charleston, but you can take the Charleston out of the girl. Look how cute. That's adorable. So great. Lots of great style lines here. Side zipper. I mentioned the princess seams. They have them in the front and the back, which is nice for a knit dress. It looks like three quarter sleeves or long sleeves. And then you've got your um, A-line skirt. Love it. I love Lisette. I love Lisette so much. Um, bum, bum, bum. Jersey, Ponty, Interlock, Cotton, Rayon. So yeah, they went kind of really lightweight, but you could do any knit, any stable knit. Okay, a little, uh, oh, look at that cute fabric though, for real. Okay, so this is a knit top. It looks like a tie, but like also a twisty thing happening. So maybe that's like the new dramatic sleeve is this little number. Oh, the wrap is really nice. Wrap in the peplum, I love that. Here's the wrap with the ruching, cute. And then that little sleeve. They're just calling it an elasticized three-quarter sleeve. So that seems like a lot of words, but I like an elasticized three-quarter sleeve. <laughs> Very nice fit on her. So yeah, they're, they got this twisty thing going. This feels like very like uh, White House Black Market to me, like you would see that there. Um, but a lot of really good options here. And it looked to me, well, it is a drawing, so it's harder to tell how the wrap uh, hits the chest and the bust line. Um, so you might wanna make a, we a wearable muslin just to see how low that goes. Um, I typically like to see that version on the model because then you can see how dippy it gets. But I mean, on the drawings, it looks modest, but you know, on a drawing, they can make it as modest as they want. Um, and then Jersey interlock cotton knits and rayon knits. Yeah, light, lighter weight um, knits here. Love that. Cute. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, you know, I never got into this like shawl thing when it hit in the spring. Um, and here it is in a wintry application. Um, yeah, so no provision provided for above waist adjustments, meaning basically you cannot do any bust adjustments, small or large, any shoulder adjustments forward or otherwise or backward or wide or whatever, like 
from the waist up, this is what you got. Um, so you must keep that in mind if you are someone who knows that you need those kinds of adjustments. Oh, God. That one's okay the sh without the long sleeve peeking out. But there's just, like, no shape here, and it hits in a really weird place. Like, the proportions just, oh, God. The proportions just don't look. Wait a minute. Why is that on here? It's like cheating. That's not the same pattern. This looks raw also. Yeah, I just don't love the look of that. It's kind of very um, like like football gear, you know, like linebacker-y. Okay, so yeah. I mean, this was my favorite of all of them, but again, like I usually don't buy patterns unless I like more than one of the views. Um, but they are suggesting crepe de chine, double georgette, chalet, silk, jersey, and faux suede, which is what they used here, which is why they were able to keep the raw edge. So I bet the other ones are all baby hems. So good luck with a baby hem on a crepe de chine that is like a mile long. <laughs> okay, next up is this little beauty. Okay. Cute. Oh, I love the little lace up. Oh, look at her messy bun. Cute. That one's nice. Great sleeve detail. These are really nice blouses if you like wear blouses. Um, they've got a lot of different uh, hems. I like this little shaped one that's really flattering. I would probably do that on all of them unless I knew I was going to tuck it in and then I would do the longer on the sides. But yeah, you've got a little nice collar, neckline options. Here's a contrast version. Yeah, it's a really cute blouse. If you've got some um, like polyester laying around or yeah, chalet, any of these kinds of really lightweight um even your chambray i would make sure it was like a rayon chambray um real drapey lightweight it could be really cute i like the plaid one i think maybe because she looks like me <laughs> right doesn't she kind of okay um where are we here we've got why do i feel like i've seen this fabric before so a wrap top, see how low this comes? I mean, she doesn't have very big boobs, so she's not going to have a ton of cleavage, but that is that right there is the top of her breast. Um, so this is a pretty low wrap, um, which makes me nervous on what it would look like with someone with an actual chest, like more than a, maybe a B cup, I'm thinking is what she has. But... That aside, I love the collar with it. I love the asymmetrical little foldy bits that they've got going on here. It's a very cool top. That one's even cooler. I love the ruffles. Yeah, I really like this. I just, this is low, low, very low. But look, if you made it out of like a really stable woven, like, I mean, is this a brocade, you know, and like, made it into more of a jacket, a jacket that you maybe only wore a camisole underneath, I think that would be super chic. I mean, they're just calling it a top, but there's really no reason why it couldn't also work as like a really fitted jacket. Look at these seam details. Oh, I'm loving this. This is, this is very tailored, very fitted. It's really nice. This one, obviously, you'd need to use, like, drapier fabrics for. But I don't see why you couldn't, especially, where's the one with no, I guess it's this. What's the difference? The sleeves? Yeah. So maybe even with a three-quarter sleeve. You know, no reason why you couldn't make that out of, like, a really stable, special fabric and have it work as more of a jacket. Broadcloth, cotton blend, chambray, poplin, gingham. I mean, that's just just 
the tip of the iceberg in my opinion. I feel like you could really make this out of a lot of different things. And in fact, like I don't even know that a shirting is really doing it justice. Like I would love to see it in, maybe that's what they were trying to get at with this, um, is making it more of, more of a jacket. This is, this is the first one I've come across that's got my wheels turning. You know what I mean? Love that. And they're doing that princess seam into the shoulder again, which I just love. It's also easier to sew because it's less curvy. Okay, we've got a cute little tunic here. Is it, yeah, Catherine Tilton. I actually was going to say that because she is like so known for these like weird wacky fabrics and asymmetrical hems. No one loves an asymmetrical hem more than Catherine Tilton. But it's got an asymmetrical seam that's top stitched. I love that detail. This one actually reminds me a lot of Eileen Fisher, the brand. If you've ever seen her stuff, um, they sell it at like some department stores. And I think she might even have her own shops. She uses exceptional fabrics, um, cashmere, silk, you know, really, really nice stuff. If you ever want to get schooled on luxury fabric, go find one of her boutiques and just touch things and then on the labels on the like tags that hang like near where the price tag is it always says what fabric is being used I love browsing her shop but this reminds me very much of an Eileen Fisher top very simple silhouette um but usually like something really special about it which is what this asymmetrical thing reminds me of okay here it is with leggings so cute here it is with like a what did I say a pencil pant and a statement necklace, adorable. This is very mature, but still so cute. I love this. I don't know the difference between the mustardy one and the black one. Can you guys tell a difference? Oh, contrasting fabric somewhere? Neckline? I don't know. I kind of feel like they're the exact same. Maybe this was supposed to be made in contrasting fabric and they forgot or something. I don't know. They look the same to me here. Um, but the two options are like obviously something's going on here with a neckline. And maybe that's what this is. It's just hard to tell the difference in these photos. But I really like that. I think it's very nice. Again, one of those that look real expensive. So they're saying Ponty interlock jersey sweatshirt fleece double knits. I mean, I would really push yourself to see if you could find some luxury fabrics and make this really special because it doesn't take that much fabric to make it. Um, so you'd need for view B where it's all one, like as much as two and an eighth of a yard. So, you know, go to those the Elliot Beermans of the world and see if you can find some really nice um, sweater knit or some kind of like, you know, blended knit. And let's be real, it doesn't even really have to be all that stretchy. It says moderate stretch, but I mean, the neckline is really wide. I feel like you could get that over your head, no problem, even if it weren't super stretchy. Love that one. Okay, I feel like we're hitting a groove here. We've got a jacket. This reminds me a lot of the one I'm making for the sew along, the Vogue pattern actually. And this one even has um, nice big giant pockets, which the Vogue one doesn't. It also has this like forward shoulder seam, which is an interesting detail. Let's see what else. So there it is. It's also got these the button um, sleeve. And then a back vent. Oh, and back neck darts. There's a lot of really great details in this one. I feel like there's shoulder pads in there. Lizette, no wonder. I might be Lizette's biggest fan. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, okay, semi-fitted line jack lined has notched stand collar, single button closure. So in fact, this would probably be a thousand times easier to make than the Vogue one because you don't have that funky shoulder seam. Huh. Um, side front and back seams. Side front and back seams. Two piece sleeves. 
front pockets with flap and back vent. Oh, and separate cup sizes. You guys, this is a winner of a blazer. If you're looking for a blazer that, you know, it doesn't have to have like a standard fold over collar. I mean, I'm feeling this. Is this, oh, and that's another little seam right there. Cute. This is a great little blazer, actually. I wish they showed more pictures of the inside. I'm sure it has some kind of facing, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Great. I'm sure, like, suitings and stuff. Yeah, cotton blends, gabardine, wool blends, linen, brocade. Oh, brocade, yeah. Lining fabrics, and then you get some interfacing. Cool. Way to go. All right, another Catherine Tilton. Right? Doesn't she use the funkiest fabrics? And if that is a center front seam that they matched up, bravo. I love the zippered welt pocket. That's cool. Big cowl neck. That's cool, too. You know, I was really digging her fall patterns, too. Look at this shaping. It's almost like a dress, but it's a tunic. That just looks fun and casual and like I could see you making like even at a sweatshirt fleece and having like a super cool athleisure outfit with some neat, like neat sneakers and now that now she's got me thinking something else is going on here because this is squares and the front of it was di uh, diamonds. So has that been pieced? Let's see. No, I don't know what they did. I guess it's just two different fabrics. One is big gigantic diamond squares and the other one is rectangles. Don't think I didn't notice that, Catherine Tilton. But there it is. There's the line drawings. I really like it. I think it's really cute. I wonder why it says A-B. Like, is it A or B or what's the difference between A and B? I'm not really seeing a difference. Pullover tunics with high fold-over collar feature front pockets with exposed zipper and optional side seam pockets. A, front and left sleeve, front and left sleeve cut on bias. So it is different. But the squares, the rectangles don't look the same as the squares. Am I overthinking this? Let's find another, come on, another picture of the back. See how the back looks rectangle? Oh, I guess that's kind of a square. I don't know. Maybe that is what's going on. I'm just like overthinking it. Um, and then optional double stitched hems and neckline. Okay. Well, I would make it out of all solid fabric, but if you found a really cool fabric that you wanted to cut on the bias, sure. Go for it. Ponty, interlock, jersey, sweatshirt, fleece, double knits. Yeah. Any of those thicker type fabrics would be great with this. I think this one's super cute. I love that she put a little necklace with it to show that it's like, you know, styled, stylish. Okay, Connie Crawford, women's shirt. And I think, yeah, no, it's extra small to extra large. They just feature a plus size model, which is awesome. So you've got a little forward shoulder, some darting in the shoulder, a high, Mandarin color, hidden bucket, button pocket, curved hem, uh, some sleeve detail. There's a lot going on with this shirt. I'm sure it has, yeah, a back yoke with another pleat. I don't know. What do we think about the long, pretty much like a long, um, you know, button down shirt? worn with leggings or skinny jeans. Do we like that? I, I think I do. I don't know that I like it enough to make it, but I do like it. I don't know though. There's not a lot of fit going on through the waist. So it might look kind of potato sacky on me. Cotton blends, rayon, silk, poly, cotton. Yeah. And it kind of takes a little bit of fabric too. I don't know. That's a maybe. Not to mention, doesn't her neckline look different? No. I thought hers looked like a little bunchy. Oh. Oh, they did the collar in a contrast and then left it open. 
well, that's not fair either. Now it makes me feel like it doesn't fit her. You know, like, why didn't they button it all the way up? And it feels like it's pulling right there, right? At that, where that button is. Hmm. Hmm. This is a little too questionable for me at this moment. Okay, I think we've got a little coat. Oh, cute. Exaggerated collar, like a ton of buttons. <laughs> Double breasted, waist seam pockets. And that's all I can see from here. Look how cool she looks with her Christian or haircut. Yeah, no, no fitting things going on here. I think it's even cut on the fold, like no, not even a center back seam. Is it a sudden sleeve? Yeah, although it feels a little low on her. Maybe it's supposed to be. Let's look at some line drawings. No, it's not. That's kind of cool, though. I like it. I like the collar. And the waist seam. Oh, and there's these little seams here too. One piece sleeve though, I think. Wool blends, tweed, wool, poplin. Cute. I don't know. There's a lot of buttons. But this one has fewer. I would go fewer. This seems just like overkill. Plus, it would take you forever to get in and out of that thing. <laughs> okay. Now we've got a lifestyle wardrobe. Top dress and pants. So we've got the button down with the little waist tie thing, which I actually think is really cute. Um, pencil pants and a shirt dress. A shirt dress that doesn't fit her that great. There's a lot of pulling going on here. Okay, so or you can unbutton it and make it more of like a tunic. It has this little detail kind of like the Cali shirt dress does oh or you can make this like cardigan coat cardigan thing or button it all the way up mm. I mean obviously this is more my style god those shoes are big those are like a whole size too big um, I digress. I just wish I could get things like that to fit. I just don't think I can. This looks great. There's just so many shirt dresses out there to choose from that th that pulling makes me nervous. And yeah, I don't know. And plus, I don't know that I would make either version of this. So, and although as much as I'd love to get pants like that that fit... I don't know that I would have the time or energy to do it right now, so it's probably a pass. But um, there are, I mean, it is cute. It's a very kind of basic wardrobe, which maybe that's what lifestyle wardrobe is all about. Basics. Oh, okay. So here's our, <laughs> here's our more typical Gertie than the fringe one we saw in the beginning. Corseted, strapless, sweetheart neckline. Ugh. Uh just a lot going on here even that I don't know look at that waist good lord what are they trying to prove yeah but look at hers that's kind of amazing actually <laughs> I'm like that defies science but she does kind of look like she can't breathe there's a lot of boning in here I mean I guess you would learn a lot about this kind of construction I just where do you wear that you don't wear that to, like, the grocery store. And none of the parties I go to. Maybe there's, like, a whole other world out there that I don't know anything about. So. Oh, is it just the corset? Oh, it's just the corset. You don't even get to make the dress. Which I guess this is, like, undergarment anyways. Is the petticoat, like, the outside? I'm so confused. Clearly, I know not enough about any of this to be speaking about it. I don't need a corset. Moving on. <laughs> um, we're not doing a making history. We don't do any of the history patterns on this first impression. 
Um, and then the, now we're into the C and so. Okay, so that is it for the Butterick Winter Collection. Like I said, I don't know how I missed this. I guess, I mean, I have had a little bit going on with the moving and everything else. But, um, well, I never saw that one. I feel like that was in the fall collection, right? Didn't we go over this in the fall collection? I know I've seen this and talked about it before. I don't know what happened. I love it, though. Just if, if I didn't say it enough the first time I saw it, I love it. Okay. Um, well, darn. Where was this? So we definitely didn't see this one. Super cute. I love the illusion. Yep. Okay, that's a little... It, we're getting into um, ice skater, figure skating territory. But that one's adorable. I love that for a party. Deep V back. Super cute. Um, bra strap probably would show, so keep that in mind. Oh, that one's my favorite. It's just an overlay over a, like a strapless bodice. It's not that complicated to make. I love that. Oh, even that one, like the burnout velvet. Oh, I want that. Darn, I'm going to, have to make another holiday outfit. <laughs> um... Yeah, super cute. 6415. Love all the options. Love them all. So this is for the under portion, like the strapless part, tapata, satin, sateen, shantong, and then any lace or sheer to go over top. Cute. Love that. Um, did we see this one? No. Okay. I don't think I covered this last time either. This all looks new to me. My memory is not recalling talking about this one. Very, um, what decade is that? With the below the knee and this little huge, like, midriff and under bust gathers, is it 20s? That's cute. Dress and jumpsuit, jumpsuit, bateau neckline, which, you know what? I don't sew enough of that neckline, this wider one. Uh, bias, stand-up collar, lined midriff yoke and gathered bodice and back zipper, self-lined cap sleeves, gourd skirt, midi length, floor length, wide leg all are semi fitted through hips which is promising for someone like me that has hips yeah i mean it is a little nod to i guess it's the 20s maybe 40s i don't know um but not over the top like not so much it's still kind of modern um this kind of skirt it's not the best for me, but I think it would be easy enough just to flare that out, chop it off at the knee, and I would be fine. But I actually really like the jumpsuit, too. What kind of fabrics are we looking at here? Crepe. Is that fail? I think it's pronounced fail. And satins. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think... I think you could do a lot of different drapey versions but that Prada crate back satin it would be another excellent pattern for that the one that I used for the um holiday sew along excellent okay that's a wedding dress so we can skip that one we saw that saw that we did not see this oh no we totally saw that I made it in the spring what is that doing in this collection I don't even know that was what I did for the my style maker dress earlier this year okay Got all those and all of those. Oh my word, we don't cover men's in the first impression, but whoa. I mean, I get the Ankara trend, but my goodness. T 
tunics are tops. Yes, 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 yes. Got all those. Shirt, dress. Yep. Lovely set. And then that's the end. Okay, so yeah, those are our Butterick winter patterns. Now you know what I think. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Have you guys bought any of these already? I am so out of touch with um, what's going on in the pattern section at Joanne. I have stumbled across the Joanne here in Charlotte by accident and I didn't go in. So, but I think for sure once um, I see another sale going on, I'll be going and picking up a couple of these. Um, yeah, I, I took an intimate look at my pattern, at my fabric stash while moving it all. And I know that there are some things that I need, some patterns I need to, in order to sew up some of what I've got. So I'll be looking at that, but let me know if you guys got any of these, um, or what your favorites are. And, um, I know some early spring collections are coming out here soon. So I will be doing some more current versions of these first impressions here in the next few days, week, couple weeks. I don't know. It depends on how long it takes for all them to come out. But anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.